Hi guys, my name is Mitz and I'm going to show you a few ways to speed up Google Chrome. First option is the most um, used one and it is to clear the browsing cache. So let's go up to the settings with these three dots up in the right hand corner of your screen. Press on them. Go right down the bottom to settings and then we're going to come over here and press on privacy and security scroll down and go to delete browsing data now this is the basic settings here but if you go to advanced you actually get to tick or untick any of these boxes so the thing is um, what i've unticked here is passwords and other sign-in data now you can get rid of them if you want, that's fine. Just click on that link, that uh, box there and it'll get rid of the saved passwords. Um, also the autofill form data, I've kept that as well. So now we can go back to the basic and you'll see that I've only got these three things here ticked and now I can press delete data. And that's all you have to do. So um, sometimes you do that when you are opening a web page and um, it's the old version of a web page and you're like, wait a minute, uh, where's the updated version? It's, um, so what you have to do, so sometimes that happens when you're filling out forms, there's a problem. So sometimes you have to come and clear this browsing data because it's giving you an old page. So another way to speed up your Chrome browser is in settings again, we're already in settings. So we press on performance here and there's two settings in here that I like to use. One is the memory saver, which Chrome frees up memory from the inactive tabs. So you can choose it to be moderate, balanced or maximum. So get the maximum mem memory saving um, if you press this one here. Um, your tabs become inactive after a shorter period of time. So when I go and see how much memory my tabs are using, um, yeah, you'll be able to see. Um, but if I press this one here, they save more memory. Okay, so also down here we've got speed section which uh, preloads the pages. So we've got standard preloading or we've got extended preloading. Now it says more pages are preloaded. Pages may be preloaded through Google servers when requested by others. So you can choose this option here. So that's two ways to speed up your Chrome browser experience. All right, let's go on to the next one. This time in settings again, we're going to go down to extensions. And what we can do here is check out what extensions are um, being used by this Chrome browser and we can remove them if we're not uh, using them which will help so let's remove this one that was an experiment Google Docs offline we can remove that if we want to I don't think it'd be doing much um, and yeah all right well I haven't got many there but uh, this here is a um, home page that I made myself so it's quite light it's just a text document instructing this to do this so it's not that much it's just got the time on it a google search and some of my favorite links here and that's pretty simple um, but also you can go up to the top here press on this and you'll see the um, extensions you've got here you can press on this and say remove from chrome or manage extension okay so press on manage extensions from there as well you'll get to this same page here just press manage extensions 
Um, so there we go. All right, so disable extensions that you're not using because sometimes you uh, put them in there and they're in there for years. All right, so let's go on to the next way to speed up Google Chrome. So, of course, we're in settings again, and we're going to go for the next one, which is to reset the settings. So to get into these settings here, I've only gone up to the top here, scrolled down to settings, and then I have gone to this one here where it says reset settings. Okay, so now we can press on restore settings to their original defaults. Now, I don't want to do this, but uh, you could do this if you're having any problems, uh, your browser's running slow, um, all sorts of things. It will disable your extensions, reset your Chrome settings and your Chrome shortcuts and delete cookies and other site data. So it will do a few things that I'm suggesting anyway, and obviously it will um, do that. Now, I don't want to get rid of my saved passwords and stuff because that will hold me up um, with my work. Um, I've already gone in manually and deleted the cookies and other um, things. I've disabled all extensions and, um, yeah, I haven't reset the shortcuts or anything, but anyway. So if you need to reset, you can reset here because it will take it back and clean it up. Okay, which will obviously make it run faster. All right, let's go on to the next one. Uh, this is a little tip that I use. Um, it's just uh, it's just for me to monitor what's going on. So if we go to appearance in the settings and we scroll down to show tab memory usage. Okay, and just make sure this is clicked on. OK, so what you can do now is you can go to a Google Chrome, uh, a tab, and you can hover over it. If you can see up the top there and if you hover over it, it will show you the memory usage of that tab. Now, let's go to the next one. Not much going on there. So that is the custom home page that I made and it's using 14.7 megabyte because it's not doing anything it's just sitting there this one here is in the settings it's using 72 megabyte now if I go to say Facebook so let's go to Facebook I haven't actually logged in okay but it's using 40 okay so Let's see if I can log in. I don't know. All right. So we've logged into Facebook. Let's see how much it's using now. Okay. 253 megabytes. Okay. So this page is in use and we can see that it's using 253 megabyte. This one here is actually still in use, uh, but it's a hell of a lot lighter and uh, than Facebook. All right, so now you can see a preview of um, the page and also the uh, how much memory usage it is using. All right, that's, uh, that's a good tip just to know what's going on. Okay, here's another one. Uh, we're going to go to settings again. So we're over in settings on this tab. So we'll just click over here and Nick over there for a minute. So in the left sidebar, we're going to the system down here. Now, what we've got here is um, use graphics acceleration when available. Now, this isn't on at the moment. So the benefits of turning this on is that Google Chrome will use resources on my computer to help show the video or run Google Chrome faster. So we definitely want to click on that as well. Um, we can press relaunch, okay, and relaunch Google Chrome. It's gone back. Now here's the settings. 
use, uh, make sure it's on. Um, yeah, so now Google Chrome will use my hardware, and, um, which will make the web pages load quicker. All right, one more quick setting that I can. Okay, the last tip that I have for you is to disable pop-ups. So we'll go to privacy and security and scroll down. Okay, we'll go to site settings and we'll scroll down again to pop-ups and redirects. Now, don't allow sites to send pop-ups or use redirects. Now go in there, make sure this is ticked. Um, now, if you're into pop-ups and redirects, make sure you've got this box ticked. But this actually slows down your browsing, so I don't mind having that disabled there. All right, that's it. That's a few tips for you to speed up your Google Chrome browser. If you like these tips, um, subscribe or comment below. Um, let me know how these tips improve the speed of your Google Chrome. All right, see you later.